You can continue drinking without making any changes, but you do not have to. You may have been arrested for drinking and driving. Your doctor may have told you that you need to cut down or quit drinking. You may have gotten into physical fights or um, maybe just verbal arguments due to your drinking. You may be feeling ashamed of your drinking. Drinking may be affecting your job performance. Drinking may have hurt and continues to hurt your relationship with your partner and or your children. Uh, you may, may have found yourself in the hospital, jail, or a public holding facility until you sobered up. <laughs> Remaining abstinent or changing your drinking habits may be the best thing for you to do. But you can continue drinking just like you've been doing without making any changes. You don't need to make any changes at all. I'm telling people that they do not need to quit or control their drinking if they're alcoholic or if alcohol is causing major problems in their life. You don't have to do it. That's right. No one needs to make any change. There is nothing that can make a person change their drinking habits but themselves. Sure, there are court order programs that you can be placed in for treatment. A judge can even order you not to drink. But you don't need to follow that. You can get the consequences and be even sent to jail or prison. But eventually you can get out and drink again. There is no one who can stop you. Let's say you do not have legal sanctions trying to motivate you not to drink. Um, perhaps you have never gotten a DOI and your partner tolerates your drunkenness and you have plenty of friends who drink just like you. You can continue drinking just like you have without making any changes. No changes at all. Even if drinking is harming your health, you still do not have to make any changes. People get fatty liver and cirrhosis of the liver all the time from heavy drinking. People get oral and esophageal cancer from drinking. Drinking causes people pancreatic and breast cancer. Heavy drinking greatly raises your risk of having serious health problems. And you can take that risk. And if you lose, just keep drinking until you die. How important is your drinking to you? Now, alcohol competes with other things that are important to you, like your health, job, relationships, and things you like to do. If alcohol has taken over your life and has become more important than anything else, you can just keep drinking the way you have been. But, you do not have to keep drinking like you have been doing. You can decrease your drinking to safe levels. Or, you can abstain from alcohol. Hello, I'm Bill Weber, therapist, owner, Rational Therapy and Recovery.